um, weeds over here, uh, weeds over here, weeds over here, and weeds over here. That's what we're working with. Um, standing in our new project lawn. We're starting from scratch and I want to say before I show you this um, just in case anybody says I know I could kill this whole thing off and seed it and it would look really really good. But I kind of want to see if we can take a lawn just how it is and basically uh, help it rise from the ashes. It's always awkward when I'm talking to the camera and cars drive by. That's my dad. Quick overview. This is my parents' house. They've lived here for over 30 years. Don't think it's ever been treated with anything. No fertilizers, no weed killers. They do tend to park on the grass sometimes. He cuts very low. Let's go get a look. As you can see, there's a lot of weeds in here. Just a little bit of grass. Um, we do have some bare spots here. Could be kind of rough to start, um, but I am very excited to get this thing whipped into shape. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna whip it into shape, whip it real good. We're gonna use Pete um, with GCI Turf, his new grass blend. It's this new turf type tall fescue with Kentucky bluegrass mixed in. And so thank you, Pete, for the grass seed. Very excited to put that out and see how it does here. The area that we're gonna do is 7,500 square feet, essentially from where that big tree is. We're gonna pretend there's an imaginary line up to this fence, and then we're gonna go along this fence here over to the driveway and then to the house. In this area right here, 7,500 square feet. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. He killed it, just killed it. All right, so we're done with the initial round of the power ray. We got a lot of junk up, roughed up the soil pretty good, and so we are gonna go over this with the bagger on the push mower. Um, I really wanna use this zero turn, um, but it's kind of wet right now, and I know he doesn't like to get his stuff dirty, so uh, we're gonna go up with the bagger on the push mower, and then we're gonna get to the next step.
All right, so we are spreading our seed. And like I said, this is the GCI, the tall fescue with the Kentucky bluegrass mixed in. And I know some people don't like tall fescue. I love it. I think it looks really good. Stripes really good. And it's easier to take care of, I think. Um, that doesn't mean it's, you know, you don't have to do anything to it to make it look good. But um, just want to show you, here's the mix, if you can see that. And so I think there's like 15% Kentucky bluegrass in here. So these tall seeds right here are the tall fescue. And then you can see down here, those really tiny seeds, that's the Kentucky bluegrass. Kentucky bluegrass is tiny, tiny seeds. So, yeah, fun fact. So we put our seed down and the seed is pretty much just sitting on top, um, if you can see that. Um, so we decided we ran the power rake this way last time, so we're gonna go over it one more time this way just to kind of groove the seed down into the soil. Then we'll put our fertilizer down and we'll be good to go. All right, so this is why it comes in handy to have two people doing work instead of just one. So while he's finishing up with the power rake, grooving the seed into the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and start our fert down here and go this way so we don't uh, get in each other's way. Using a standard triple 12 fertilizer, nothing fancy. I'm gonna go a half pound. Um, so I'm gonna do six pounds per thousand of the product. They give us a half pound. Um, and then I will come back in about two weeks and put another half pound down. All right, so that is gonna do it for today. A lot of work done, but it is going to be well worth it. Oh, $10 if you return that thing dirty. 10 bucks, that's how, how much the thing costs to rent for four hours. Uh, but anyway, we got our seed down, furt down, we power raked it in, and so we are gonna be good to go. The only thing left to do now is figure out how we're gonna water it. I think, uh, I think we're gonna go get one of those tripod Gilmore sprinklers. Um, because that should cover this whole thing in two spots. We could put a spot right here and then a spot on the other side of the tree and that should cover it. So um, I will check back in with you guys in probably about two weeks uh, and we will see how we're doing. Um, and just so you guys can see what it looks like after we did the power raking and the seeding. It's pretty rough, but I am pretty confident we are gonna get this puppy whipped back into shape. So I will see you guys in about two weeks. <gasps> All right, what is up everybody? We are back at the project lawn about three months after we did the seeding. It is February 3rd. I believe we did the seeding end of October, I think it was. Um, and I gotta say, even though we got the seed down much later than I would have liked, um, it's actually coming. Nice. Just getting dominated just while I'm filming. Hey, come on. I'm trying to film here. What are you doing? You pick it up. Anyway, so here we are at the project lawn. And even though there are some spots that didn't come in as well as I would have liked, um, I think because we got it down a little too late, um, it's coming in pretty good. Uh, I still think these spots are going to thicken up when the spring hits and the warm weather comes and we get some fertilizer down, um, which will bring me to a question of whether I want to put a pre-emergent down or not, because I do think there are some seeds in here um, that will germinate and grow in the springtime. And if we put a pre-emergent down, that will prevent them from doing that. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I want to get down here and kind of show you um, still some weeds in here that we're going to kill whenever the time comes. Um, but it's coming in pretty good. So I'm pretty excited to get this thing rolling this year. I'm pretty excited to show you what we're going to use on it. And the next step, we're actually going to do a soil test to see 
what we've got going in the soil. We're also going to pull um, some cores out in different spots just so we can actually look at the soil, see the makeup of it, see what the dirt looks like. And then as we use certain things throughout the year, at the end of the year, we will also do the same thing and compare and see if how the soil has actually changed structurally and with a soil test. So I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure and subscribe down below if you haven't already and enjoy the overhead shots of the project lawn.